I wanted to do a quick tour of the trailer. We've been on the road now four months, and I keep promising to you know show people what we did to the trailer to make it uh, full timeable. And you know, so I, I, I shot some different videos inside and around the trailer to, to show you some of the different stuff that we've done. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. So here's the roof of the trailer, and these are our two 320 watt solar panels that we installed for a total of 640 watts of power. Cables run down through the refrigerator. This is the heart of the solar generation kind of setup. So I showed you before that the solar panels were up on the roof. So the solar panels come down and they go into our solar charge controller. This is a TriStar MPPT controller. Uh, 60 so it's capable of up to 60 amps and uh, This thing is awesome. It generates its own web page that we can have go to a Wireless router and we can actually see what our solar panels are generating at any time and it records it for like 120 days So this is really cool. So this comes in this sends power into the batteries Right, so it regulates between different types of charge cycles charging up the batteries depending on how full the batteries are of electrical charge. It does it really smart so they last a long time and uh, and it and it's great. So that comes in and then that comes out and it feeds either the 12 volt system all the time or we have this pure sine wave inverter from Go Power. This is the 200 watt model and we went to do with this for a, a number of reasons. First of all it's pure sine wave so when you're running it it's not going to give off any weird noises high pitch frequencies and things like that. The other reason is, uh, from everything I've read, this is the best pure sine wave inverter on the market at 200 watts without going and spending uh, even more money than this one costs. This one is not the cheapest, uh, but it works very, very well. It powers all of our devices. It can power our Vitamix. It can power our Cuisinart. Uh, so we can, we can do everything we need to do uh, with this inverter. And that, that's awesome. So. Uh, that's really it for the, the, the battery side of things. Now we have a shunt back there and that feeds into the battery monitor that we have inside and we'll look at that in a second. Uh, and then this is just a regular battery charger. So when, and this is by GoPower as well, but this is connected to the shore power connection. So when we're plugged into, uh, you know, regular power at like an RV park or something, that power is not only feeding 120 in the trailer, but it also comes in, it hits this battery charger, and then this then charges up our batteries. So we have two different battery chargers basically here, one for doing solar with, and the other for coming off of shore. And that right there, with the solar panels and then the batteries, are what make this a solar-powered trailer. All right. So we got our screen, two tacos door happening. Uh, come on in and here we are in Chateau de Rolling with grass. This is the living room and we've done a couple of modifications in here. Our good friends Pam and Willie from back in Phoenix uh, helped reupholster our valences and the headboards above the doors and then there was also a six inch sticker that went all the way around the perimeter of this room that somebody at Jayco thought was a, a nice design to have. And I mean, the only image I could think of is it just made it so that when there's a bunch of shit on your walls, it didn't look as bad or something. So we had that removed. We pulled that off, and then Kate spent a whole bunch of time with Goo Gone getting these huge boogers of glue off of the, the walls. And so now they're, they're perfect. They're in great conditions. Uh, you see these balances are absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to cruise in here into the bedroom, queen size bed. We They redid the headboard in that lovely gray. We did the valences a little bit different in the bedroom, just to kind of give it a little bit different look and feel. And the headboard was done uh, also with the different design in here. And so, uh, you know, that right there made this a whole new trailer. And uh, we love it a ton. Uh, the next major change we did is we pulled out, there was a Lazy Boy back here that uh, came with the trailer, and so we pulled that out and got rid of it. Uh, 
kind of look nasty, and we don't really like Lazy Boys. We had these two IKEA chairs already, and so we got new covers for them, and those fit in here perfectly. I generally work out of this one, um, and it does a great job. It's super comfortable, and that probably dropped the weight of our trailer by, I don't know, at least 50 pounds or so. I mean, those, that chair was not super lightweight. Then what we did is that it came with a couch that was a pull-out couch. Um, so you had a pull-out bed going on. But it had that same design as the sticker that went around the walls. And, and it was just too horrendous uh, to have. And it wasn't very comfortable either. So we, we chucked that out and got this Ikea couch and put that in. And so that, that's been really nice. Uh, we have a nice couch to sit on. And once again, that probably dropped the weight of the trailer by at least another 50 pounds, if not more. And then also our friends Pam and Willie uh, came in and they painted and reupholstered these chairs so they look much nicer than the way they were painted before. We've got some great artwork from my friend Melissa Shirowski back here to brighten everything up. And that, so that's really kind of the living room, kind of working area. Kate spends a lot of time working at the, the uh, table. And then her dad, Mr. Bill Grass, created this table for us. This thing's pretty awesome. So before this... Uh, the big issue we were having was, if I'm sitting in this chair, what do I do with my drink when I want to put it down? Because otherwise i got to just sit here and drink all the time. So we were thinking, ah, maybe we'll put like a, a bicycle mount or something in here, bicycle bottle holder, put that in. We got to Williamsburg, Virginia, and Bill was like, no, I got this. So we went out, he bought a chair from Goodwill, and he turned the chair into this table. And this table is pretty sweet. Not only can I put my drink on it, I could put maybe some snacks or an iPad or something on it. But then he also built this little holder on the back that fits a wine bottle. And we've got these wine bottles that are growing these plants out of them. And he just thought, hey, you know, that would be pretty cool for you guys to have. So he just put that in there, gratis. And uh, so that's, that's really cool. And another thing that's just kind of made it home uh, and made it much, uh, much nicer to live in. So... That's the living room. Let's go look at the kitchen. So just right here on the other side of everything is our sink, our stovetop, oven, microwave oven, freezer, and then refrigerator. And this is where everything gets done. And we've got a ton of storage room. We've got storage room up here for our food, plates, all the pots and Vitamix and... Uh, Cuisinart are down here. We've got all our drawers, and these have got some nice little latches on them so that they don't just slide open when we're cruising down the roadway. Keep our knives. Kate found this awesome knife block so we can keep all our knives in here. They're not clattering around, getting dull. Three burner stove. Got some cabbage getting ready to get cooked later on. Microwave, also a storage compartment. And then our oven. Oven's a little small, but hey, it gets the job done. Come over here, we've got an ample size freezer full of goodies. And a nice size refrigerator with some uh, champagne that we uh, failed to drink on New Year's Eve. But uh, we'll, have that. we'll have that soon enough. Plenty of beer fits in there, plenty of good food. Uh, we've got our pantry in here so we've got uh, some storage stuff we've got our liquor cabinet our sprouts are growing condiments spices teas all that stuff and then Kate came up with this great idea of hanging spoons inside of the door or in this case I'm sorry a ladle and our potato masher which we use frequently enough but not enough to have them in the drawer taking up so much space uh, and then she put some uh, Velcro tape across them so that uh, when we're driving on the roadside, they're not banging around, smashing things up. Um, and that's the kitchen. Kitchen's pretty sweet. We got a, a nice double sink, little window, uh, plenty of lights, fan and light. Very, very good. Uh, we've been making some really great meals in here. We've gotten come up with the ability to, to actually both of us be cooking in here at the same time and and uh you know making that happen without it getting nasty at all so going very very nice underneath the refrigerator we have our hot water tank uh, i've got the wi-fi set up in here onto that solar charge controller i was talking about earlier so this will broadcast a web page 
of uh, what the solar charge controller is actually producing for us in real time. So that's pretty cool. I want to figure out a way to get that broadcast out on the internet, but haven't quite figured that out yet without it um, uh, endangering the security of the system. So uh, yeah, that's a whole other issue. Okay, so up here above the pantry, we've got the solar charge controller uh, information. We have the battery monitor here that comes off of that shunt. And so this shows us like in real time right now, we're at negative 0.5 amps. We've got a fan running, we've got the inverter running. This is the inverter remote control switch, so I can turn it on or off from here. Uh, it'll let me know if there's any issues. Uh, but now the sun just came back out of a cloud, so now we're producing 6.9 amps of power. If we come over here, we're at 99% full on the batteries, and currently we're at 13.2 volts. So, pretty cool stuff. Uh, throughout the day, we'll come through here and just check on where things at. Since we're at 99% power, Everything's hunky-dory. We've got fans running. We've got uh, the laptops plugged in, charging up. Um, you know, we're, we're producing plenty of energy. And then later on at night, you know, we'll just keep an eye on this. It's, it's kind of neat to have. Uh, we've got some more storage here. This is where our bookshelf's at. This is where we keep our box of wine. We have the big jam box from Jawbone as a Bluetooth speaker, and it, it, it works great. It puts out enough sound. Uh, we can play it off of either our iPhones or our iPads, what have you, and it can go with us wherever we want. So if we do end up driving down, um, staying on maybe a 92-foot yacht or something, we can take that speaker with us and always have our own music with us. So it's just nice to have. I recommend getting one. Uh, no matter what you're doing, but especially for camping, it's it's great. We don't have to run any wires for speakers. So as you can see, I've walked into our bathroom area. So we've got a, a nice simple sink. Uh, Kate's dad once again replaced the faucet for us, so this one's much more usable. The one that came with it, uh, I think the nozzle was like here. So worthless. Jayco, if you're paying attention, uh, Bill Grass can help design your trailer much better. Uh, we've got our medicine cabinet. I'm not going to show you what's inside of that. Uh, we've got our shower, separated toilet area from the rest of the bathroom, very useful to have. Uh, it's just a really simple toilet, lid, your flush and, and valve opener. Uh, and then we've also, the, the original owner built this box in here, and it just a nice little place to be able to store a lot of things. Um, the, the, the paper roll goes in there, so it's pretty cool to have, and then our laundry basket. Uh, and then we dry the towels in here, and that's the crapper. So last but not least is the bedroom. It's here at the very front of the trailer. So we've got the queen size bed, door, second door, very nice to have. Uh, it's a couple of windows. We have a closet here. We have two hanging closets on the side. They're about, you know, they're, they're shorter closets, but you can hang stuff in those. And then we've got our cabinets up above to keep the rest of our clothes. And what you see here is all of the space that we have for all of our clothing now. And um, so far, it's worked out pretty well. We've been down to 22 degree weather in North Carolina. Uh, it's now 80 plus degrees weather. And the clothes we've got with us, I mean, it, it get, 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 gets it done. We've got some fancy stuff if we need to get fancy. That's the bedroom. We did replace this mattress with an Ikea firmer mattress, and it's made all the difference. Uh, we sleep here with both dogs. Uh, it's, it's very cramped, but uh, so far we're making it work. We basically adjust to what the dogs want to be at, and there you have it. One thing to point out that we did have done, uh, Bill Grass, once again, the awesome guy that he is, installed these marine USB plugs for us. So these are 12 volt powered plugs. And what this gives us is the ability to charge our iPhone and our iPods at night with the inverter off. And we've always got our phones next to us because those are our alarm clocks. And the cool thing with this one, you can get this off of Amazon, is it has a 2.1 amp and a, a 1 amp plug. The 2.1 amp is what you want to have for your iPad. It will help that charge a lot faster. Uh, and that's, that's very nice to have. We also put one of those in at the very back of the trailer. And I'll show you what's there here. Um, it's always nice to have as many plugs as possible. Um, so we put another one of those 12 volt marine plugs back here. But then we also have Bill help us out changing out our regular electric outlets to ones with USB plugs in them. 
Uh, and, and once again, it's just really a nice thing to have. If you just need to charge something that's on USB, you can plug it into there. You don't have to have a whole bunch of USB um, adapters and things like that so that you can keep uh, plugging more stuff in. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you here is our water pump. When we're not plugged into city water, there's no pressure to the water, so we have to have a pump to be able to get it to go out all the faucets and the shower. Well, back here is where Jayco decided to put their pumps. We've got our shoreline cable here, which is not in use right now, but then here's our pump. And so this basically pumps all of the water out. And it's a little bit noisy, but you know, it's not too bad. Bill once again helped us refashion this. The way this, when we got this uh, little pump house here, this, this did not have a hinge. So the only way to get in here was to kind of bust out this side door. It was really sloppy. So Bill came in, created a nice hinge for it. It works really nicely if we need to access into there uh, for anything. And uh, it works great. So there you go. That's the inside of the trailer. All right. So quick tour of the outside. This is our awning. 20 foot. Uh, pretty easy to set up. Shade and water. It's all great. We do a little carpeting action with some tarp. So we've got kind of a, a, an outdoor little patio. Camp chairs. Bikes are set up. Ready to go. Uh, we have a camp table. And then on the back here, the really cool thing with this trailer is the original owner put in this uh, shelf uh, on the back. And the really, really cool part about it is that it has a generator mount with a locking bar on it that fits the type of generator that we wanted. We have a Honda 3000i, and it's a very good generator, pretty quiet and it fits perfectly into this. The feet mounts go right in the bottom, and then it's got this locking bar on it because it's a, it's a pretty useful item to have and other people would like to take that. So, got that locked down. Um, we've got one of our two seven gallon water jugs back here. I use this to keep filling up the dog's water bowl when they're outside. Uh, we've got a pickaxe and a shovel. Shovel's really mostly used for filling in the holes that the dogs dig up. Uh, <laughs> Here's our other water jug, and then we'll use that at some point. We've got a gasoline tank for the generator. We have a whole container for all of our sewage hoses. So when we're either at an RV park or a dump station, uh, we need to dump our black tank and gray tank, and that's all the equipment. It goes nicely into one piece, and it uh, straps on back here in the back, so keep all that shit literally separated from everything else. Uh, we've got a bicycle rack that mounts onto the ladder, and we put our two bikes on there, so keep our bikes with us. We can cruise around wherever we head off to. Our spare tire. So you'll notice the spare tire has got its own mount. That was built by our good buddy Eric in Loveland, Colorado. He's a master welder. You can check out these welds real clean. Uh, he made that for us uh, the week we were in Loveland, Colorado. So thanks again, Eric. It's very useful to have. Uh, we've got our slide, so this trailer's got a nice, I don't know, is that like 12 feet, 12 foot long slide, maybe longer. Uh, and so that's where the dining room table is at, that was the, the, the uh, couch was at when we were looking at the inside. Uh, we've got our leveler jacks, so there's one back there, and then one over here. And that's less for leveling and more for just stability. Then uh, we've got our sewage right here. So this is our uh, black water guy. When I pull that, all the black water comes out. And then this is our gray water guy right here. So that's all that fun stuff. We've got a little garage in the front. It's where I keep the hitch. And then when we're rolling, this is where I put in all of our tire chocks and uh, the leveling blocks. Batteries. Propane, we've got two seven gallon tanks. And uh, so that's the outside of the trailer. So that was the trailer. That's what we have uh, converted into being able to live full time in. Uh, if you've got questions about it, please let me know. I'm happy to go into more detail. If you've got any suggestions or tips or advice, please. We're, we're brand new doing this. Uh, we, we'd love to learn more stuff. We're always learning more things from people who have been doing it longer and maybe better. And uh, anything to, to make it uh, just a more enjoyable experience, we'd love to hear from you. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll implement it. Maybe we won't. We're not looking to spend a whole lot of money. So, uh, 
uh, let us know. Have a great day.